So hi guys, welcome to my quick and easy guide to defeating the Twin Emperors. The clever brothers of Veklor and Veknalash um, are known as the Twin Emperors. They rule over Quaraji from the sanctuary of their temple. So basically their bosses in AQ4E. First thing you need to do is you need to keep the brothers separated. So whenever the twins get within 60 yards of one of another, they will spam heal each other for a huge amount of uh, healing. So you need to keep them separated, okay? Every 30 to 40 seconds, the two emperors will swap places. Uh, if you've got something like uh, deadly boss mod, then this will actually tell you when they're gonna swap. So after 15 minutes, the emperors will go berserk and they'll probably wipe the raid. So you've got to kill them within 15 minutes. Uh, so that's not bad. And they have combined health. When you damage one, the other one takes damage too, basically. They both die at the same time, which is rather... Um, one of the Emperors will be tanked by a regular tank and the other one will be tanked by a Warlock. The Warlock should probably have at least 300 Shadow Resist gear, I believe. If there's a bug near the Emperor, then every, say, 10 to 15 seconds, the bug will grow gigantic and it will start to attack everyone. So these bugs really need to be tanked or, you know, they need to be eliminated, basically. Well, one of the Emperors will just use bog standard physical attacks, whilst the other one will use things like Shadow Bolt, Blizzard, Arcane Blast, um, and also, it will explode the bug. The bug will explode doing a whole bunch of fire damage, basically, so keep an eye on that. So here's the strategy, right? You really want to have your sort of DPS team and your tanking team who will sort of run backwards and forwards. Before the Tempera teleports and swaps places, the DPS team will basically run out and this will mean that um, a warlock or tank can basically take the emperor and I suppose the other tank will sort of run into place to pick up the emperor when he teleports. Teleports can be five seconds slow so keep an eye on that. As you can see in this video we've kind of got the druids and things tanking a lot of the bugs in the middle and they do a very very good job of this. The actual Emperors, once you get their dance down, their teleportation and everything else, they're not too hard. But the thing that's likely to wipe the raid is the bugs which will constantly run in. Uh, the bugs are sort of really annoying. Yeah, you, you basically want to kill the bugs as quickly as possible. I hear there are guilds that... ...just leave the bugs alone. But that's not typically what we do. We like to run backwards and forwards and everyone will sort of AOE V bugs and we'll basically keep as few bugs around as possible so we're just constantly killing them. This seems to be a lot better than trying to avoid them altogether. The Magical Emperor is tanked by a Warlock, it will do shadow damage and the uh, Physical Emperor by a Warrior. On a switch from physical to magical, the tanking warlock will immediately, after the teleport, begin to chain cast Searing Pain on the magical emperor in order to gain aggro. Both the warrior and warlock keep a healthy range. To the emperor to avoid arcane blasts, um, triggering. if a character is within melee range. So yeah, when they teleport, don't be standing too close or you're else you get blasted, guys. 
Uh, the more range they can get, the better, as it helps the healers to avoid all blizzards and exploding bugs. So yeah, basically just stay away as far as you can from the Emperor if you wear cloth or leather armour. <laughs> I suppose with the exception of Druids perhaps, but uh, yeah. DPS, like I say, is kind of split in two with some of the DPS focusing more on the bugs and some of focusing more on the Emperor. If I'm honest, we kind of do a little bit of both. So the melee will run from Emperor to Emperor and we'll do a lot of damage on the bugs on the way. I actually focus a bit more on the bugs, as you guys can see, because I kind of believe that keeping the bugs down is, you know, the most important thing in a lot of ways. So I do spend quite a lot of time killing the bugs. And as long as you get the two emperors down under 15 minutes, you should be absolutely fine. So warriors should be absolutely using demoralizing shout. Okay, and as you guys can see, I've actually pulled one of the little scarabs and it's attacking me, which boosts my rage, which actually boosts my damage output. Um, making sure the DPS stay alive is like literally the most important thing. This is one of the reasons why I prefer armor that's got a little bit of defense on it. But yeah, I tell you, this is um, this is a really fun fight and um, not difficult if you take out the little tiny mobs as quickly as possible. Because those are the ones who are going to get you, you know, if they start attacking the clothies, the casters and things, then you're kind of screwed. <laughs> also, do not stand on top of a platform. Um, I've heard that it can actually cause um, a bug, which can kill everyone, basically. So, yeah, don't stand on top of that platform. You know, you can see the squares, the stairs quite right now. As you guys can see, we've got our two bear tanks sort of smashing up. And way We've taken the Empress down. Ooh, let's see what they dropped. Nothing for me, I don't think. We've got leather, and we've got that thing, whatever that is. I did look it up at the time to figure out what it was. But, um, yeah, make sure that you always loot for bosses, and in this fight... Make sure that you loot, um, loot both brothers, basically. Because both will have um, items to give you rep, so that's good. Yeah. Pretty decent. So, I guess we can leave it there, guys. Um, this was a really fun raid. So, what we've sort of taken... Well, what, what we've started to do is we... Um, We'll run up to the Twin Emperors on Wednesday when the instance resets. And then on Monday, we'll go and we'll finish off the raid with Cthune. Although we haven't actually done Cthune yet, but that's scheduled for Monday. So that should be a lot of fun, hopefully. Um, how are you guys getting on in AQ? I uh, hope you found this video useful and I'll speak to you soon. And have a great day.